Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, recently the governor of Maryland, he put up a marker for 34 black lynching victims. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of years ago, I watched, this is back in the day when I was still watching TV. I won't watch TV anymore. And I don't know if it was 60 Minutes. It was one of those news, nightly news shows. And the FBI was saying they went back and reviewed all of these, um, not all of the lynchings, but some of them. And they never found any evidence of a crime committed. And, and that's because, you know, the high IQ were lynching us for sport. And that's why you didn't find a crime. It wasn't about a crime. They used to always talk all that rape white woman, rape white woman, rape white woman. That's all that you would hear from them. But in the reality is these men didn't do those things they were accused of and they couldn't find no evidence of it either. You know, they were doing this for sport in the guise of claiming a crime was committed, but they have yet to show these crimes. All right, y'all. So this is NPR, May 9th, 2021. 34 black men and boys lynched in Maryland between 1854 and 1933 were granted post homis pardoned by Governor Larry Hogan on Saturday. Hogan made the announcement at an event held for, you know, to mem you know, in memory to these lynching victims. And one of them name was Howard Cooper. He was 15 at the time in 1885. He was dragged from the Baltimore jail and hung while the criminal case was pending before the Supreme Court. Students at the Lock Raven Tech, uh, Technical Academy. Um, this is in Maryland. This is where the lynching memorial project was petitioned to the governor earlier this year to pardon Cooper. You know, is there anybody in the black community that wants a lynching marker? How about our reparations? You know, and if we're interested in doing this with our reparations, we can. A lynching marker? Uh, is there anybody that feels good about this? I sure don't. But see, this is what the high IQ want to give us instead of our reparations. A lynching museum, lynching markers. <laughs> I mean, oh. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Mm, mm, mm. You know, it's amazing when you talk about slavery, they'll tell you it's a long time ago, right? But why is it not lo a long time ago to put up these markers? <laughs> it don't seem to be a long time ago then. And and they will insist they have given us things. <laughs> they ain't given us things. You ain't give a shit. If you didn't give the reparations, you didn't give shit. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. So this project uh, petitioned the governor earlier this year to pardon Cooper, which led Hogan to instruct his staff to search for all of the available accounts of racist lynchings in the state. Hogan, a term limit Republican who is entertaining a run for president in 2024, said he hopes the action will help bring a measure of peace to the men's descendant and in some way help to right the horrific wrongs. No, reparations is the only way to right the wrong. A marker? <laughs> no, no, they don't write nothing. Among the other men pardoned was King Johnson. The governor's office said Johnson was seized by eight men, beaten and fatally shot after being uh, left unguarded in jail in December 1911. Yeah, well, y'all did that on purpose. The governor also announced a pardon of a 13-year-old uh, black boy named Frederick who was hanged from a tree in September, 1861. His last name, not known. The Maryland Lynching Memorial Project has identified at least 40 people who were lynched in racial terror incidents in the state through not all of those people were charged with a state crime, thus available to receive a pardon because they didn't commit no crime, just like y'all still put people in jail to this very day that didn't commit crimes. You, you do that stuff even now. Saturday's announcement by Governor Hogan makes Maryland the first and only state to issue a comprehensive set of apologies to the men and boys lynched in the state. More than 4,000 Black men, women, and children were lynched in acts of racial terror across America. Y'all lowballing that number. Y'all lowballing that number. Big time. Across the United States in the 19th and 20th centuries. It was uh, common for Black Americans to be lynched after being accused or charged with inflated or invented crimes against white people, exactly. You know, that's how the high IQ people did it. Um, the extrajudicial killings were used as a tool to inflict terror and enforce racist policies. According to a new report by the Equal Justice Initiative, based on in part of conversations with lynching survivors, the terror played a major role in the mass migration of millions of Blacks from the South. The push to recognize Black Americans killed in racial terror attacks is a new front in the country's ongoing reckoning with racism. No, this ain't new. Last year, a campaign to get rid of Confederate monuments resulted in at least 168 being removed or renamed last year, according to a report from the Southern Poverty Law Center. Some Maryland Democratic uh, lawmakers have previously criticized the governor's record on contemporary civil rights issues, such as policing. Last month, the Democratic state legislator overrode Hogan's veto on the number of police reform measures, including a measure that gives civilians a role in Maryland's police disciplinary pro uh, process. Okay, so Hogan announced a pardon in Tosin, standing near uh, what once was the jail, near where Howard Cooper was lynched. A new historical plaque unveiled at the event detailed what happened afterwards. Howard's mother, Henrietta, collected her child's remains and buried him in an unmarked grave in Ruxton. It reads, no one was ever held accountable for her son's lynching. Well, like 
nobody's held accountable for our shooting. So, so please tell me what has changed. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. This is amazing. They want to give us a damn marker and not reparations. <laughs> so y'all can, y'all can kiss my entire ass. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.